Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. For years, the construction industry saw steady, steady growth. But where do we stand today as the nation is dealing with a few things, one of them supply chain issues, a pandemic, and of course, high inflation. The Hispanic American Construction Industry Association, or ASIA, has helped provide opportunities for four decades now. They continue that work, and next month, they're gonna be celebrating their annual gala. Here to tell us a little bit more about it, Jackie Gomez, who is joining us from ASIA. We appreciate your time. No, thank you for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. All right, let's start at the beginning. Yes. Uh, you've been here for 40 years four decades. Explain to folks who may not know about ASEA what it is, what it's able to do for folks here in the Chicago area. Absolutely. Um, so ASEA is a construction advocacy and membership organization. And uh, we work to really empower our communities. Equitable participation is at the forefront of all that we do. And like you said, we've been around for a long time. And so we have strong roots and it has evolved over time. Uh, established in 1979, it was a, during a time when there was no real um, representation for Hispanic businesses in the field. And now we're evolved to over 300 members ranging from small mom and pop shops to your large corporations and all industries in all facets of the industry. So think of not only your general contractors, but your professional services like your architects, your engineers, um, land surveyors. And so we're really proud of the diversity of our membership and in terms of also just ethnic ownership of our businesses. Yeah. So we're really proud of the, the representation that our memberships have. Okay, in the meantime, we have hit some really tough times, uh, not just Chicago, but around the country with a pandemic and high inflation and supply chain issues. So how do you adjust? How do you help your members during this difficult time? Um, what can you be doing? What should they be doing? Yes, you hit it right on the nail. Um, it's no secret that there is a national labor shortage uh, across the country and for decades we've been dealing with the lack of business diversity in the construction industry so a few years ago we created what we call Hasia University or Hasia U um, and to provide um, really services for both the workforce and small business and it's to help empower our communities with skill sets so that they can compete and and really grow and scale their business okay um, talk about the gala that you've got coming up it's in march um, and yes. part of the dollars it, it's meant to sort of say thank you to the people who have gotten the organization here. But I imagine part of it too is to raise a little money for this organization and the training. Yes, after all, we are a non-for-profit organization. So it is one of our um, key uh, events and we call it, it's our own maybe version of your red carpet event, if you will. Yeah. Hundreds of and close to a thousand attendees really. And it is to celebrate the works of others that have paved the way in terms of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the industry. And all are invited to come. It is on March 8th at the Chicago Hilton and those that would love to register can do so on our website. Fancy, fancy. Okay, in the meantime, you are providing some of this training. So let's suppose somebody's watching at home and they are, perhaps they have a construction business and they want to be a part of some of these um, co statewide contracts, citywide contracts. They want to make sure that they're, they're in the running for some of these dollars that are going to be coming down with the infrastructure bill. Um, what would you say to them? What can they do? So for one, I would strongly encourage them participate in one of our training programs. Again, this, thanks to the state funding, we did actually recently received an award um, by the state and the governor announced uh, the list of awardees through their Illinois Works program. And we were one of the beneficiaries. And through these training programs, we're able to provide them for free and provide them with skill sets that they need to grow and to be competitive in the industry. So for example, one, and through one of our partners, the San Agustin College, uh, another one, Innovation DuPage, College of DuPage, and a more recent one uh, that we added this year is um, Elgin Community College. And through our partnerships, we're creating tailored um, trainings. Uh, one that I like to always highlight is like one owner to CEO, and it's a 12-week intensive program um, that that really brings our business owner to think about their business and 
uh, what is their competitive advantage? So think of they're doing SWOT analysis, they're doing um, their sales pitch. So it kind of helps them market their business, yes. brand their business Absolutely. a little bit more. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Because they're, they're good at what they do. They can build you a home, they can do repairs in commercial buildings, and sometimes they don't think about, they need to build mm -hmm. that foundation. Another one we offer is our online business essentials. It's through an online platform, kind of at their own pace, um, and talks about just the fundamentals of a business and what you should know. So that when you think about finance, budgeting, communications and marketing. So all the skill sets to help them scale their business. All right, a little bit of everything. Uh, what is the number? What is the website that people should yes. check out? Um, so all our, again, it's welcome to all. It's hasiaworks.org. I encourage them to share, you know, please share with your friends and family. Uh, we have, again, this lack of diversity that we're really trying to close the gap yeah. on. Okay, sounds good. Jackie Gomez with ASEA. We appreciate your time. Your gala coming up in March. Yes, thank All you right. so much. All right, nice to have you.